What kind of books do you think collectors are after? Imagine holding a piece of history in your hands. A book that has passed through generations, carrying with it stories of the past. Let's delve into the fascinating world of book collecting. Book collecting is more than just a hobby. It's a journey into the past, a preservation of culture, and an investment that may yield significant rewards. Each book tells a story, not just through its text but also through its condition, the era it hails from, and the hands it has passed through. Collectors are often drawn to this pursuit by a sense of nostalgia, a yearning to connect with a bygone era. There's a certain allure in owning a piece of history, a tangible link to an epic that no longer exists. But it's not all about nostalgia. Many collectors are also driven by the potential for financial gain. The right book, in the right condition, can be worth a small fortune. Condition and historical context are key factors that determine a book's value. Book collecting is a journey that requires patience, dedication, and financial planning. It's not just about buying books, it's about understanding them, cherishing them, and preserving them for future generations. As we dive deeper, we'll explore some of the world's rarest and most valuable books that collectors seek. First on our list is the Gutenberg Bible, a marvel of the 15th century. This isn't just any old book, it's a groundbreaking artifact that forever changed the course of history. The Gutenberg Bible was the first substantial book to be printed using movable metal type in the Western world. Just imagine before its creation books were painstakingly handwritten. The Gutenberg Bible represents a significant leap in technology, transforming the way knowledge was disseminated and making information more accessible to the masses. This was a game-changer, an innovation that lit the fuse for the explosion of the Renaissance, the Scientific Revolution, and the Age of Enlightenment. But it's not just its historical significance that makes the Gutenberg Bible so sought after. Its rarity adds to its allure. With only an estimated 48 copies remaining in the world, the Gutenberg Bible is an incredibly scarce item. Its precious few copies are scattered in libraries and private collections across the globe. This book's historical significance and scarcity make it a coveted piece among book collectors worldwide. From the world of religion, we move to the realm of literature with William Shakespeare's First Folio. This remarkable compilation is the first complete collected edition of Shakespeare's plays, published in 1623, seven years after Shakespeare's death. It holds an irreplaceable position in the world of literature, containing 36 plays, 18 of which might have been lost forever without this compilation. These include Macbeth, Julius Caesar, Twelfth Night, The Tempest, and As You Like It, each a masterpiece that has shaped the course of English literature and language. Its rarity is unquestionable. Only around 230 copies are known to exist today, with each one of them being a coveted gem in the eyes of collectors. The first folio's high value is reflected in its record-breaking auction prices. One such copy was sold for over $9 million in 2001, but its value extends beyond the monetary. It is a testament to Shakespeare's enduring legacy, a tangible link to the world of Elizabethan drama. The first folio is a treasure trove for lovers of literature and history alike. While the Gutenberg Bible and Shakespeare's first folio are high on the list, there are other noteworthy books that collectors are on the lookout for. Let's start with the Bay Psalm book. This book isn't just a psalm book, it's a piece of American history. Being the first book ever printed in British North America, it carries a significant weight in terms of historical significance. However, its rarity is what truly makes it a collector's dream. Only 11 copies are known to exist as of today making it a gem in the world of book collecting. Next, we have John James Audubon's Birds of America. This isn't just a book, it's an art masterpiece. Audubon, a naturalist and painter, created a comprehensive record of American bird species in the 19th century. Each page is a life-size watercolor illustration, making it an incredibly unique and valuable piece. And with only 120 copies known to exist, it's no surprise that collectors are eager to get their hands on it. Last but not least, we have Leonardo da Vinci's Codex Leicester. This is not just a book, it's a window into the mind of one of history's greatest geniuses. The Codex Leicester is a collection of largely scientific writings by Leonardo da Vinci. The Codex provides a glimpse into Leonardo's thoughts and ideas, making it one of the most famous and sought-after books in the world. These books, with their rich history and rarity, are gems in the world of book collecting. And there you have it, a brief journey into the types of books that collectors are seeking. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your journey, it's important to approach book collecting with patience, dedication, and financial planning. Did any of these books pique your interest? 
Do you have a rare book you're proud of? Share with us in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Happy collecting!